Hey guys, Graven here. What's going on? Welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions and the How to Effectively Use series. Now we are going to be skipping a couple of characters today, ones that I don't have. So, I mean, that's just that's just how things go, right? Uh, I know a lot of people kind of question, where's this character? Where's that character once things happen? But I, if I don't have the character, I can't really review them for you guys. So we're, we're moving ahead. I think we're like we're skipping falcon and we're skipping gambit at this point uh and we're moving right on into gamora who for the longest time was probably one of my favorite female characters in the game just because of assassination assassination is an awesome signature ability probably one of the better female signature abilities as far as hitting goes i would have to say probably aside from scarlet witch's uh, signature uh or her special attacks Gamora probably has the second best special attacks with assassination as far as female characters go now mine is currently sitting at rank 3 level 30 of 30 I haven't taken her up uh, I, would, I actually wouldn't mind her to rank 4 to be honest she only has assassination at level 22 now Gamora was pro I think she was one of my first three four-star champions but she was one of my last that I actually awakened. Uh, I think the other ones were Black Panther and Colossus. And both of those, you know, I've, I've <laughs> Colossus is one away from being 99 and Black Panther is, is at 99 now. So she definitely is one that I haven't got nearly as much of. But I'm really thankful to have her awakened because of her ability. Now she has uh, Cruelty 4 and Bleed 5. Now obviously like I've said before in, in other videos, that will change the higher or lower the uh, the rank is. So that's that's not something that, that's really unique, but she does have Bleed and Cruelty. So she's definitely going to have those at some level. Assassination. A 36.9% chance Gamora's God Slayer Blade deals a lethal blow striking for massive critical hit damage it's absolutely insane whenever it does hit assassination is is it can make him break any fight it really can just because of how much damage it actually does now sitting at level 22 she's only got a 36.9 percent chance that it's going to happen so it's that's less than 40 percent so it's not even guaranteed half of the hits so it kind of stinks at that uh, at that point, but uh, I like her still yet nonetheless. Now our three star is going to have more of a chance, so hopefully we'll be able to, to get more assassinations off during that. Abilities, all attacks, 10% chance to increase critical damage by 151% for 7 seconds. Special attacks, 90% chance to inflict bleed. Dealing 200% of your attack is direct damage over 5 seconds, which is really awesome. I mean, 90% chance, that's a whole lot better than, than you know, the 36.9% chance of getting assassination. And Bleed is really awesome in the game right now because of the fact that they're, they've done so much stuff in the game to make it harder for crit hits that you need that extra special damage that you can possibly get out of anything, so... Special attack 1, this attack has 100% critical hit chance. Special attack 2, this attack has 100% critical hit chance. So, 100% critical hit chance. That means you're definitely getting a crit chance. You're getting a crit hit. It's 100%. It's definitely happening. It's not, uh, it's not the crit rate. It's a crit hit chance. So, 100% like it synergy bonuses armor six percent with star lord six percent armor with she hulk not too big on the armors not too big on the perfect block that she's got with agent venom either but the 25 percent critical damage with drax is pretty awesome i like that I've, I've set up a team before that has her involved in it with uh ronin and it, it just seems like it would be a really good team, especially with that uh, Ronan, Black Bolt, and uh, Gamora, especially with the Cosmic buff and her cruelty. 
it would last a lot longer. So we'll be getting a lot more crit hits. So that's that's basically the gist of Gamora. Let's get out of here. Let's jump into a fight real quick. Now I want to start off with my four star. Just because of the fact that she is not going to uh, she's not going to hit assassination as much. Now she does still hit assassination. That's not to say that she doesn't. I've I've hit assassination quite a bit still yet with my four star. But the fact that my three star is more awakened means it's going to hit a lot more often. Now hopefully we'll be able to get at least a level one attack off here, and hopefully we'll be able to see an assassination from one of these two characters, or one of the two, you know, four or three star. Because that's something I'd really like to get in there. At least get the assassination into the fight. There we go, cruelty. So we can see she doesn't hit she doesn't really hit that hard. Even whenever she's she's actually got a hit off. I mean we're not we're not seeing a whole lot. Seven hundred as far as crits go isn't that big. And that time we did not get assassination, but we did get a bleed, and you can see her bleed is actually doing almost as much damage as her actual hits are so that's that's a big huge key thing if we can get that off then that's awesome me personally i think gamora is definitely an offensive character she's someone that you're going to want to use for fights you don't want to use her on defense because to me her her level one level two attacks are just way too predictable and easy to avoid so I wouldn't use her on I wouldn't use her on defense in any way whatsoever plus she's with that assassination if you've got it high enough uh, signature ability you're gonna be doing a lot of awesome damage with her on the offensive side of things plus like I said she's got the pretty cool synergy bonuses where you can match her up with uh, Black Bolt and Ronin and you're gonna be getting some pretty cool pretty cool buffs there you go into uh, some questing you throw Drax in there with her then it's gonna be pretty cool throw Hulk on the team you're gonna have a lot more critical hit chance but you can see I mean she's not hitting for the most in the world she's getting a pretty decent amount of crit hits right now still no but that bleed man that bleed does almost as much damage as her normal hits do I mean it was like ticking for 107 just on the three star so that's pretty sweet in my eyes I like that about her but honestly yeah she's definitely she's definitely an offensive character she's not someone you're gonna want to use on um, on defense just because of the fact even though assassination is so freaking awesome that it could destroy someone on defense uh, that's going up against her but it's just to me it's way too easy to avoid her moves they're they're predictable you you kind of can see where the, when the swords are coming out and you can evade it really really easily it's not like a um, a venom style type thing where it's like you kind of they're so fast that you kind of get caught off guard sometimes by it or Groot um, hers are just way too even though they sped them up still way too slow in my eyes I don't I don't really like her on defense I don't I'm not a big fan of her on defense but I do love her on offense once those assassinations hit uh, pretty much game over for just about anybody that she goes up against I don't I've never had an issue where whenever an assassination hits that a person could actually live through it but I, I love Gamora I do I got kind of a soft spot in my heart, I guess, for her because of the fact that she was one of the first uh, four stars that I ever got in the game. I can't remember if she was she was the first. I don't know off the top of my head, but something about it just wants me to say that she was the first four star that I ever got. But all right, guys. So that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys have any questions about Gamora or you have any comments about her, leave it in the comment section down below. Love talking to you guys. Remember head over and check out the 3,000 subscribers special if you haven't signed up for the $25 iTunes or Google Play gift card your choice if you win because that ends tonight I'm gonna draw a winner tonight winners gonna be announced tomorrow at noon uh, noon 
Eastern Standard Time. So be looking forward to that Q&A special. And that's going to be it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. If it's your first time watching the channel and you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a sub on it. If you enjoyed the video itself, leave a like on it. And as always, guys, remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.